many of you don't know that I have a super secret political channel that I haven't really kept up to date at all. It was my first stab at trying to be a serious YouTuber in any capacity. It's called Feminazi. I'll leave a link in the description because it's not spelled the way it sounds. But this video that you're about to see was supposed to be the first video on that channel. I put an amazing amount of work into it. But as things tend to be, I drifted away from it as other things kept coming up and I kept having things that I wanted to say about other topics and I figure, well, I'll just bang out a different simple video for the first one and, and then it became a second and a third and before I knew it, I got several videos out before I ever even touched this one again. The problem is that it's a lot of work animating things, especially at the time I didn't know much about After Effects. So, the reason that I'm posting it now is partly because I want to show you eh, some of what you can expect from the user interface documentary I'm working on, but also because I only got about a third of the way through the animation. I don't really want to finish this video, especially since it was supposed to be done five years prior to this, and a lot of stuff has changed since. It's still accurate for the time, but, you know, for example, the person referenced decided to become a man, so the name's not right anymore. It's just there's so much more that would have to be added to it to make it accurate uh, or rather more relevant for today. So I'm not going to do that, but I don't want to waste all that work, and I'd like for you all to see a sample of what I could do. So without further ado, here is the unfinished, fully narrated but unfinished, video that was supposed to go on my super secret political channel five years ago called the Linux Social Justice Cancer. Enjoy, if you can. Feminine Nazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Linux is an operating system that isn't used by most average people, but is incredibly important for tons of social and technological reasons that I won't go into here. It powers everything from your Android phone, haha, <laughs> suck it Apple, to Google's massive army of internet servers. Linux has been under attack from the plague of social justice for many years. Much like how internet feminazis use their friends at major media outlets to paint Gamergate as a hate movement that seeks out and destroys girl gamers with facts. Did I say facts? Oh, crap, I meant harassment and misogyny. Here come the internet police. In the same way that they exploited major media outlets to smear the Gamergate concept in the court of public opinion, social justice cancer has convinced the common man that Linux is full of woman-hating, drooling cavemen. And just as importantly, they've convinced most of the lay people who know nothing on the subject that Linus Torvalds, the man who created Linux in the first place, gets his rocks off by being abusive. It's an ego-fueled power trip, and nothing else. When I say that social justice is a cancer, this is what I'm talking about. It ruins everything it touches, and if you don't kill it as soon as possible, it consumes everything around it until there's nothing good left. Internet feminazis infiltrated gaming and inspired their fellow ideologues and other technical fields to start speaking up and ruining those as well. This is why we can't have nice things. It'll melt the special snowflakes. Here's the thing about Linus Torvalds. He's from Finland and they don't bullshit around there. You don't fuck with Finland. Terrifying. Some of what comes out of his keyboard and his mouth sounds really mean when taken out of context. But the omitted context makes a huge difference. When he insults and belittles someone for their stupidity, it's always necessary. The Torvalds stages of bad code correction generally work like this. One. This is wrong for these reasons. Change it to not be wrong. If you need elaboration, just ask. Two, it's still wrong. You're not new at this and should know better. Make it right. Three, you still didn't fix it. You fucking know better than to submit this garbage and I'm tired of telling you to fix it. I'm not using this shit. Don't send it to me again if you're not gonna fucking listen. Of course, in the usual tone policing feminazi way, the fact that the person being belittled is actively refusing to follow basic directions and wasting everyone's time is conveniently ignored. Linus doesn't insult newcomers at all, and doesn't insult old timers until they've clearly demonstrated that they're being grossly incompetent. You might think, he shouldn't insult anyone at all because that pushes people away and makes everything worse. Guess what? 
Linux has been around since 1991 and is so successful that it has made Microsoft pee its pants in fear for over 20 years. Linus's now controversial management style has kept the quality level high for decades. Trigger warning. I have internet mailing list PTSD. Apparently I also have AIDS and cancer. Thanks a lot, Linus and WebMD. With the important background info out of the way... Enter Sarah Sharp. Sarah Sharp's job was to maintain part of Linux that makes certain Intel hardware work. A feminist rubber band in Sarah Sharp's brain snapped because some men were being verbally abusive. Wait a second, no, no, no they weren't. No, some men who have known each other for a long time were giving each other a good spirited ribbing and Sarah decided it was some kind of brutal internet bullying. Social justice superhero says, time to be offended on behalf of others. In a fit of rage that would swallow Pompeii in fire, she armed herself with a keyboard and belted out this work of fiction. Seriously, guy? Is this what we need in order to get improved stable? Lena Torvalds is advocating for physical intimidation and violence. Ingo Molnar and Linus are advocating for verbal abuse. Not fucking cool. Violence, whether it be physical intimidation, verbal threats, or verbal abuse, is not acceptable. Keep it professional on the mailing list. Let's discuss this at Colonel Summit where we can at least yell at each other in person. Yeah, just try yelling at me about this. I'll roar right back louder. For all the people who lose their voice when they get yelled at by top maintainers, I won't be the nice girl anymore. Holy knob gobblers! Those guys must have said something absolutely terrible. No reasonable person would get this angry and defensive unless it was a seriously mean and nasty p- Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit anticlimactic. I guess when I read, advocating for physical intimidation and violence and verbal abuse, I got a different mental image. What the f- So, lesson learned. Creatively calling someone very tall is abuse. Thank you, Sarah Sharp, for being the voice of reason in this discussion. <laughs> Naturally, Sarah Sharp's psychotic electronic outburst was so ridiculous that it slammed head first into Poe's law when she reiterated that she was completely serious business on the internet. The Linux guys called it like they saw it and said a lot of words that boiled down to, if you think everything's problematic, maybe you're the problem. I want to take a second to say that the Linux folks really deserve a few rounds of applause and some champagne for how they handled Sarah's offense by proxy bullshit. After she said she wasn't joking around, they handled her professionally as most daycare providers ought to. Kudos to you guys for keeping it civil. The shitstorm didn't stop there. Sarah slithered off to her personal blog to cry about how she was being treated unfairly, as you'd expect from angsty teenagers, but not from a professional adult programmer. The comments were promptly flooded with filthy verbal abuse. Whereby filthy verbal abuse, I mean expressions of disagreement with her and disapproval of her actions. I especially love the intentionally inflammatory further edit that she later cut out. It's like she took advice from Anita Sarkeesian on how to maximize trolling and profit from it, but royally fucked up two thirds of it. While that chapter is closed, the story doesn't end here. Let's ride the social justice train further. Who represents the pinnacle of stereotypical white knighting nerdy white male? Well, arguably a guy named Matthew Garrett. You see, Sarah Sharp may be a feminist harpy who lost a few screws in pursuit of her crappy ideology, but stands social justice chancellor Matt here next to her, and Sarah looks like a very well-adjusted adult by comparison. Matthew Garrett is a rabid social justice warrior that exhibits all of the vile behaviors that you'd expect from people who receive that title. He's more than happy to tow the radical internet feminist line until the heat death of the universe. On his shit heap of a personal blog, you can learn that a prominent kernel developer is a rape apologist, not feeding trolls is nebulously problematic, and Intel is bad because they pulled an ad from a website that directly attacked Intel customers. Do you feel educated yet? I sure don't. I should send Matt a bill for all the brain cells in my head that his blog managed to kill. It's difficult to believe that I'm in the same species as this guy. According to Führer Matthew, Gamergate is a set of awful humans engaged in an anti-women campaign. By that logic, feminism is a mob of three-armed gorillas that set babies and cats on fire. Come to think of it, I'd pay to see that as a movie. It'd be better than that damned zombie apocalypse. Bottom line, Matthew Garrett is a pissy social justice white knight with the maturity of an eight-year-old child. If you still have doubts about this fact, 
Here's how he handles comments that he doesn't agree with. We'll come back to Man Baby Matt in a minute. Two years after Sarah Sharp decided to blow her lid, play language police, and call in feminazi reinforcements to try and bully the Linux community into playing by her rules, she finally threw in the towel, put away her toys, and went home. But wait. You didn't expect her to move on without attention whoring, did you? I didn't think so. You'll be very happy to know that Sarah threw a couple more punches before running away to sulk. I finally realized that I could no longer contribute to a community where I was technically respected, but I could not ask for personal respect. I could not work with people who helpfully encouraged newcomers to send patches and then argued that maintainers should be allowed to spew whatever vile words they needed to in order to maintain radical emotional honesty. I did not want to work professionally with people who were allowed to get away with subtle sexist or homophobic jokes. What more would you expect from a cry-bully social justice warrior? All I have to say to that bullshit is... Citation needed. Your credibility has taken up residence at the bottom of a trash can, Sarah. You started a shitstorm, attempted to divide an established community, and you can't even walk away from the situation quietly like a mature adult. Feminazi bullies like you don't belong in productive technical communities in the first place. Good riddance. If you still doubt what I'm saying about Sarah Sharp's level of maturity, guess who decided to adopt Fyodor Matthews' editing of disagreeing comments to say, Fart, fart, fart. Go suck a pacifier, Sarah. What does Matthew Garrett have to do with Sarah Sharp, other than her adopting his elementary school playground way of handling people he doesn't like? The day after Sarah posted her crybaby rant about leaving Linux, Matt made a whiny post of his own to express his self-castration-based solidarity with Sarah, and to deliver super exciting techno cockled news. He officially announced his social justice friendly Linux kernel fork. Here we go, people. Matt's finally done what people have told feminazis in open source software to do for years. He's making his own Linux kernel with blackjack and hookers. I, I mean, feminist ideals. This video is being made nearly five months later, so let's take a peek at Matt's highly successful feminist Linux. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> Feminism doesn't belong in software development. It doesn't belong in gaming either. The problem is that most of the people in software and gaming are kind people who won't step up and tell the social justice cancer to fuck off. Source. They're still around and won't shut up. Fortunately, there are a few bold individuals out there who are willing to stand up and call out this bullshit. A female developer named Francesca on the Linux mailing list posted a glorious message titled Speaking Out Against Sarah Sharp that you should read for yourself. I'm going to share my favorite paragraph. As a woman, I couldn't be silent and stand by while Sarah bullied and assaulted this list with her profanity and self-indulgent narcissism. She's the problem, not you. Not your style of communication. We technical women appreciate being treated equally by our male peers with blunt directness and unambiguous criticism. We are not fragile flowers. Faith in humanity partially restored. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go play a game called Feminist Communities with some friends. The rules are simple. We use gasoline to set bridges on fire and pat ourselves on the back until we bleed snake venom. See ya!